Hello, everybody. Welcome to sunny Miami, Florida. We are here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with live FSLTL traffic. Right now, we're facing towards the east, towards the Atlantic Ocean. You can see the buildings of downtown Miami off in the distance. The airplanes are taking off to the east right now, so using runway 8 left and 8 right. Seven thirty seven eight hundred taking off runway eight left. And then there's also runway nine. Just had a Canada cargo jet land on runway nine. Seven sixty seven three hundred. One two zero decimal five for American two one six seven. Miami is known as the gateway to the Latin Americas. So you see lots of Latin American airlines here. This airport's also a hub for American Airlines. So expect to see a lot of variety here. The Lat Latam cargo seven six seven three hundred. Taxiing parallel the northwest southeast runway, the lesser used runway 1230. There's a whole gaggle of American Airlines planes parked right next to 8 right. A couple of them over the hold short line. Not sure what the deal there is. Looks like some sort of a airplane centipede going on. I don't want to know. On the south side, taxi at runway 9, American Airlines 767-300, Delta Airbus A320, Qatar Cargo 777F, Avianca Airbus A320, another Avianca Airbus A320, you have a Prime Air 767-300 parked in the cargo area. Terminals are not modeled properly in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. The uh, buildings are far too tall. But off in the distance, you can see there's more Avianca aircraft, more American Airlines aircraft. One Copa Airlines, a.k.a. the I'm Not Continental, I Promise airline. I think I saw maybe a Spirit Airlines on the other side there earlier. Now we have this United plane. This is interesting. FSLTL is a free add-on, so and they, despite the numerous tweaks that they've done over time, you still see things like this. The United Airlines. 737-900, lining up 8 right. This will be a good thumbnail. Oh, one of the seven, oh, both of the 737-800s just got sucked down into aviation Hades. I love when that happens. And off they go in the I'm trying so hard to be a 757 but I just can't airplane I don't know why someone would need two wind socks right next to each other like that but the more the merrier, I guess.
And that guy made this one go around. Another American 737-800. Next is this Delta Airbus A320 taking off runway 9. A lot of these Delta A320s are close to 30 years old, believe it or not. They are former Northwest airplanes. So uh, a lot of pilots like the Airbuses because they're new. It is some of the oldest Airbuses in the United States today. The A321s are new, but the A319s and A320s are old. Well, the shallow level off. Kind of put the gear up and stop climbing. See what's going up on the north runways. Several American Airlines planes. Whoa! That A321 just got launched out of a cannon. The heck? What are you? Always something interesting. Just when you think the 1500 hour rule was enough, more shenanigans occur. This guy's also doing it. Now they're very low to the ground, kind of level off. Puts the gear up. And just kind of slowly climbs away. Fascinating. And we have its twin right behind it. Sister ships taking off simultaneously. Or consecutively. This new livery, I'm not a big fan of. Just all those different shades of red. It's a bit boring. Not a lot of flair to it. You'd think a Latin American airline would have a good amount of flair. A lot of personality. Now this plane has a much more nose-up climb-up. That's what I expect. Air Canada Rouge. Airbus A319 landing 8 left. Yeah, and that plane looks just like the Avionica plane, just red and white. Nothing exciting. Even Air Canada has better paint schemes than that. Short final runway 9. United 737-900. Fun fact, that extra exit between the overwing exits and the rear exit on the 900, at least for United Airlines and Delta, is a deactivated door. There's no way to open it. If you go on the inside, there's no evidence of it being a door other than that the interior trim piece is a little bit wider than all the other ones. It's a complete, completely fake door. American 737-800 taking off 8 right. Miami 
And that Air Canada Rouge is stuck on the runway like it's a space shuttle ending its mission. What are you doing? American Airlines Airbus A321 coming in and going around. Going around because is that Air Canada guy still there? No, he disappeared. Then why are you going around? Now we have an American. Finally, a wide body. That is not a cargo plane. American 787 9 coming in. Looks like it's coming in hot. He's coming in fast. Now he's starting to slow it down. American Clear to land runway Short final. And going around Qatar Airbus A three fifty. Caught them at the very last second. Ugh, to be on a flight that long and have to go around, that's frustrating. And it's all because of this United guy. Fly the friendly skies and make other people go around. Yeah, that's right. Coming over the numbers, runway 9 and American 737-800. Take a look at the map, see what we have coming in. We have a Delta 767 from Atlanta coming in, followed by Southwest coming from Dallas Love Field. In between that, we have a Land Columbia A320. Such a classic design. I mean, you look at this airplane, the design just screams 1990s. Just like the little globe logo on the tail. Everything looks like it was made in Microsoft Paint in like 1995. Classic though. Has a red, white, and black of current Air Canada liveries. First we have the uh, Delta 767 coming from coming in from their hub of Atlanta, runway 9. With its unique forward tilting main gear. Have that American lining up the way. Oh, there they go. We'll see that land Columbia. How far out are they? I don't see them, so they should be able to make it without going around. Off they go, going to Denver, I believe. One of these things just doesn't belong here. Look how tiny that citation is. 
Refer to a 767 that is stuck on the taxiway for some reason. I guess it's waiting for all these planes to go by. There they are. Or Latam. Latam? Latam? How do you pronounce that? Tell me in the comments down below. Let's see, A321 American coming in from Boston, there they are, good old Boston, from one end of I-95 to the other. Next we have oh, that Southwest airplane coming in from Dallas Love Field. Just a hop across the Gulf of Mexico into Miami. What do you guys think? You like the new Southwest livery they've had for almost a decade now. Do you like the original Canyon Blue or do you like the uh, the Golden Desert paint scheme? When they first came out with this, I did not like it at all. I missed the words on the tail, but I've, I've definitely gotten used to it over time. I think I actually prefer it over the Canyon Blue. got almost purplish as the paint dried out, got worn out. Next airplane on approach, American 737 coming in from, I don't know that identifier, followed by Avianca coming in from another identifier I don't recognize. Behind that, 737 coming in from another, all these identifiers that start with M, I think it's, I think that's a Mexico Again, like I said, gateway to the Latin Americas. So that's where all these planes are coming in from. And unfortunately, my with my ignorance, I do not know the identifiers. If we 21 taking on taking off eight left. That's a long takeoff roll. They must be going somewhere pretty far. See, that guy was going. Where are you going? They're only going to Orlando? They took up that much runway? What's wrong with you? Avianca A320, short final runway 9.
So this citation was clear for takeoff, and it's creeping across the whole short line. Meanwhile, we have an airplane on short final. This is going to be a runway incursion, because there's two airplanes in the runway environment. This seems to be happening fairly frequently in this sim. If you like American 737s, you'll be a fan of Runway 9 for the next five minutes. That's all that's coming in. They're a classic looking airplane. I mean, I have to admit, I, I like the look of a 737. They, they look kind of meaty. I like it. The winglets are a nice touch, little pointy nose. There goes the citation. And he's cleared for takeoff, so he's going to go right away. Little citation. I'll tell you what, even though it's the smallest jet here, has the most leg room of any plane we've seen so far. No doubt about that. You're going to approach on 8 left, 737-800. The 737 is kind of like the Mooney of airliners. They're so low to the ground. Which has landed runway 9. Oh, another American 737. Told you. A lot of American Airlines planes. I think Miami is one of American's busiest hubs. It does not look like there's anything too interesting coming in. We do have an Amerijet 767 coming in. But other than that, it is all American 737s. No joke. So a little bit of everything, mostly American. American United, Southwest, Delta, Cargo Jet, Air Canada, Rouge, Avianca. Good mix of stuff here at Miami. So everything from a citation to a 787, it's a good day. Over the displaced threshold. Interesting, this is one of American's smallest planes, next to American's one of the biggest planes.
And off they go. And the last thing we will see is this 787 depart runway 8 right. Tens of thousands of pounds of thrust hurtling this hundreds of thousands of pound airliner down the runway over 150 miles an hour and off they go to a destination that I cannot identify take one more look at the radar just to make sure yep nothing interesting coming in all right, thanks everybody for watching. This has been Plane Spotting at Miami International in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 with FSLTL live traffic. Please give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down below. What airport would you like to see next? Thanks.